Back in this, your boy Looney Mac. We're gonna do a mukbang today because my girl brought home some Taco Bell and uh, some um, cattle mints because she was training, so she got some free appetizers. And uh, we're gonna try this new, what, it, what is it? This cheesy chalupa. Yep. We're gonna see what this is all about. It just looks like, it looks like breadcrumbs or something. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, I don't know. It looks like some drizzled ass breadcrumbs or something. I'm sorry, I'm just telling you the truth, but I think it looks like, <laughs> uh, it's brown. It looks, it looks good, but you know, tell you the truth, I was never a fan of Chalupa. I just wanted to see and try this because maybe the texture or whatever would be better in the plate. We'll try it alone. We'll see what this is about. You can hear a little crunch in there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Honestly, it doesn't taste that bad. It tastes better than a fucking chalupa for me, for sure. Because I don't like soggy ass shit. Kind of tastes like a... The, like the brownie of the cheese of like when you get from the damn... Uh, like the bakery and the cheese on top. That's what it kind of reminds me of. And that's with no sauce. Yeah. It has some sour cream and stuff. And like, I don't know. It doesn't taste hella cheesy or whatever. Like what it's supposed to be hella cheesy. I don't know, it just seems. Like I could taste it a little bit, like a kind of like a little, like I said, the cheese from the top of the bread from the bakery. It, it tastes good, but they need more. It, it, it's just not enough. It's just very thin and, you know, I'm spilling shit. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes good. Like I said, if you don't like chalupas, you should give it a try because it's a lot better. And if you, like, because the whole texture thing, it's a lot better. What is this called? It's a tri-tip taco from Cattleman's Steakhouse in the Midwest. Basically has a corn salsa, tri-tip, feta cheese, some lettuce on the side, and served with jalapenos on the side. But we don't have jalapenos right now, but usually that's what it's served with. All right, let's take a bite of this. Oh, and it has some cheese in it. Yeah, some feta cheese. It's a popular favorite at the restaurant. A lot of people like it. A lot of employees like the, the tacos. It's very smoky. It has a smoky flavor. I like it. Smoky flavor. And yeah. And it has a sweetness that cuts through. Yeah, the tri tip is slow roasted for over 16 hours, so it gives a nice smoky flavor. It's very tender. Pretty good. I would get it. it tastes pretty good. Two tacos come in the order. Also got some, yeah, it's an appetizer. Um, you, you can also get it as your entree if you want, but most people get it as an appetizer. And we got some of these wings over here. Yeah, Cattleman's also has wings on their appetizer menu. They're bone in. Um, they're both drumsticks and wings, and you can get them either spicy or sweet. 
these wings don't have any sauce in them just because I like that crispiness and I always like to dip my wings in sauce. Yeah. Our, our barbecue sauce is hidden around here. Um, well, we don't have the so barbecue sauce from the restaurant, but we do have This is our, my sauce, never was. Yes, we have our barbecue sauce that we love to use. It's called Oakland <coughs> Dust, and we like the hot one. So you can only get it in select locations like the Nugget or Food Max in my area. Um, but if you do come across this, it's very good. It's definitely it, worth the investment. It's like seven bucks but per bottle, but it's worth it. It's very good. It reminds us of the Bulls spicy barbecue. So yeah, if you miss that's that, the one. that went discontinued the Bulls barbecue yeah, spicy the sauce. The spicy one. This is the one. This is the most closest, closest to one to the Bulls. So if you're a fan of Bulls spicy barbecue sauce, definitely that's, try this out. That's the one right there. You know what? Just because it's snakey, we gotta throw some sauce on it. Gotta throw some sauce on the wings. Yeah. And look, you know that's real shit. Look, it got seasonings in it. So, so if you don't like seasoning, I'm sorry, this is not for you because uh, you can see the chunks in it. We only like flavor here. Flavor town. That's where we go. Guy, all about that flavor. Juicy, the chicken's moist. Who doesn't love wings? Can't go wrong with wings. The chicken is moist. All right, you yeah. guys. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Try a little bit of everything here. It's the nachos right here, and I think it's just the small one. This is from the dollar menu off of Taco Bell. And, you know, I've tried these. It's good, you know, if you're just trying to save some money quick on the go. Maybe just a little snack. Bean and cheese, you know, something simple. Beans, cheese, and tortilla chips. Yeah. And lots of Taco Bell sauce. There, that's how we like it around here. Yeah. We like the spicy flavor. They hooked this up on the Taco Bell sauces though. I asked them for Fire, Hot, and Diablo, and they gave us a shitload. I mean, this is like the first time someone has ever gave me this many sauce packets, and I love it because we use a lot. Yeah. So basically, for that cheese chalupa, like I said, if you guys. If you're not a fan of chalupas, but you want to try to give a chalupa another chance, but in another style, I would definitely give it a try. But I would eat that if, you know, if it was there, you know what I mean? But like a regular chalupa, if it was there, I would not eat that. I just don't, I can't, I can't put it with you, I'm sorry. But that for sure, I'll give it like a, out of 10, out of 10, rating from 1 to 10, 10 is the best, 1 is the worst. How do you rate this uh, cheddar chalupa? Probably like a, I'll, I'll say, I'll say, I'll say like a 4. You know, like I said, because I don't know if like it, but it is a very step up. So from a 0 to a 4, that's a good long way, in my opinion. From a regular chalupa being a zero yeah. to a cheddar chalupa being a four. I guess that's some improvement. <laughs> yeah. Some improvement's better than none. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> well, there's definitely some select items that talk like, about. Like, if they throw like, some nacho cheese on it or something like that, I think that shit would be fire. Yeah. Like, I understand, like I said, some more, some more of this crust on it would be nice. Or maybe even this breading right here, probably. More of a cheese flavor or something. Honestly, because it's not that cheesy. This is supposed to be a cheesy too. It looks more like a crunchy taco, but with a thicker shell. To me, that's yeah. what it looks like. Yeah. I don't know. It's good. Like I said, it's not soggy anymore. I, I like that it, that it's actually cooked. 
that's you thought that the regular chalupa was more on, on the soggy side oh yeah that shit's not cooked it's just like well it's warmed up but it's not like it, it's not crispy you can't hear it like that you can hear that yeah so maybe we'll have to do another video comparing the regular chalupa to the cheddar chalupa. Oh yeah, yeah definitely. Just to see what they look like and <laughs> how they compare to each other. Definitely. Because a lot of people love the chalupa. Oh I know. We're, we're one of the few that don't really like them, so. Yeah, and that's how you know it's all about opinion, so. Sorry you guys, we had a little technical difficulty. This is okay. My camera girl's new at it, so it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> so I just gotta let you guys know that, oh, Eddie. <laughs> um, <laughs> but anyways, like I said, it's all about opinions at the end of the day, so you gotta try it for yourself and see it. But in my opinion, it's a definitely an upgrade. Like I said, I wouldn't go out my way and be like, oh yeah, that's my number one item. But I would eat it again if it was someone like given to me or something, you know, or it came with my meal or something extra. And like I said, uh, for the Cattleman's tacos, I like them. They were very good, flavorful. Like I said, the meat smoky, uh, tender. It had a little sweetness from the corn salsa. The wings came out nice and uh, crispy. Like I said, plus with my side sauce that I always pick up, you know, but can't go wrong. Love that spicy, as you can tell, we love that spicy. We love it. And then, uh, you know, gotta wash it down with my favorite drink, the Baja Blast. The Baja Blast soda. So the, the double, the Chalupa Cheddar Box comes with the Cheddar Chalupa. It comes with two standard crunchy tacos and a drink of your choice for $5, which is a pretty good deal. So if you love chalupas, this is probably a good fit for you, especially with a great deal. Yeah, especially you know, if you're trying stuff out and you end up don't like the chalupa, you still got some tacos. You got some extra stuff on the side in yeah. case you don't like it, but yeah. it is a good deal regardless. Yeah. You drink your tacos and your chalupa. That's a good, that's a good deal. We just came up on the side though. Got a little extra stuff. We know? got extra things because we love Taco Bell. We got uh, that Crunch Wrap Supreme. <laughs> We've got the tacos that came with the Crunch Wrap. Uh, sorry, with the box. Yeah. And the nachos. That was extra too. And the nachos off the dollar menu. But yeah. Definitely try Taco Bell. Give it a chance. Uh, it's a thumbs up, like I said, than what it was normally is. So, whatever. Gotta try it, because like I said, it's all just opinions. Everybody's choices are different. You can't knock it till you try it. Yeah, so uh, please like, subscribe, and follow. Give some feedback. And uh, this is going to be my first move. Bang. Stay tuned, everybody. It will get better, we promise. Ha, ha, ha.